wild boars. On the move across farmlands and main streets. Trampling gardens, rooting through rubble, snuffling trash, looting noodle stands, nuzzling the rotten stores of grocery markets. Feral and mean and strong, left on their own to thrive in the no-go zone. Plumped up on radioactive plants and vermin, muscle and bone and fat. Live with the electric current of cesium-137 disco glittering their veins. Pork belly, shoulder chop and loin. Still delicious, but poisonous to human predators who stay away. A new chapter. of American greatness is now beginning. A new national pride is sweeping across our nation. The way birds have learned to avoid monarch caterpillars fattened on noxious milkweed. All that wasted radioactive flesh buried in mass graves deep in the heart of the no-go zone until there's no more room to go. Encroaching into the yards of abandoned homes, the fallow corners of wrecked farms where they're dug up and eaten by packs of left-behind dogs. Instead, the president has put Wall Street first. He has tried to make America sick again. He has instilled fear in communities across America and he has allowed Russia's grip on his administration to jeopardize our national security and undermine our democracy. Now, radioactive dogs. A proper cremation at a safe burn facility to keep radioactive particles from leaking into the air. Only possible at the rate of three boars per day. And there are so many. 13,000 running wild and unchecked. 200 pounds apiece of radioactive boars. Bulldozing down the farmland with glow-in-the-dark hooves and contaminated snouts. Mutant Super Boars. New syndicate of the no-go zone. Smarter than Charlotte. Demagogues of their own brutal animal farm. Batteries invincible and energized on 130 years of radioactive half-life. Stamping it down, all of it, the boars will inherit to tear it all down. <laughs> 